We also got emotionally attached with the wild dogs first, and then we wanted to tell its story. And by then, we achieved a certain amount of uh, relation with them, and then ultimately, we went on doing the same thing. People started asking for the same thing, so we gave up. And by 2010, we said, enough is enough. We're not doing any more films on wild dogs. Basically, if you are thinking, okay, you should feel whole the I mean, scientific element bit to information bit. You should feel it personally, then you transfer it. Allah, basically, learning and technical learning you can learn. Technically, it's very technically you can learn. It's about now the media is changing so fast. It's a medium. It's like a pen. You are young and you are a student and if I give you uh, the best of the pens, you can't write like uh, Alwa. So, you can shoot with your mobile. You just have to choose a subject which suits your mobile uh, camera. Then, honestly, you choose two, three different subjects, make one minute document, two minute document, finish it completely and show it to us. We can tell you whether you have that aptitude or not, or we can easily see where you are and what I can talk, what I should talk and where I should talk. That's all. It's a, it's a technicality you will slowly learn over time by practice. Certain amount of super speciality is required in certain areas, especially in the wildlife lay. Uh, see, times are changing again. So, when we are shooting in HD, we were shooting with an a lens which was comparable to 3000 mm in a uh, still camera. So, when you are shooting at 3000 mm lens, the whole thing will narrow down like this and even the wind just uh, uh, AC if you put it on, it will shake. So, that you are shooting a small animal like wild dog running at 50 kilometer speed through the bushes, you have to hold the focus. Those are skill levels you achieve over practice, extreme practice. You have to sleep with the camera. If you are passionate, I can very easily see my boys, lot of youngsters come to us and work with us and do a lot of things. So, I see some of them just love their camera like, you know, they will be almost sleeping with the camera. Some of them, even if the best of lenses are spread all over the house, and they only take it out when uh, they need to shoot. So, there will be different aptitude is the right word I think, different aptitude. Nanga, I can sit and get the things edited like this. Technically, I can learn basically, I can do basic things, but somehow I do not have that aptitude for editing. One of my boys is extremely good, she is very young, but he picked it up like this. We, I have that habit of sitting with three, four editors together and working. Otherwise, one fellow will be too slow for me. Like, just say this, say this, say this, say this. I have that habit of sitting with three, four uh, working tables and four of them working together in different sequences. So, so that's why I encourage a lot of youngsters to work with me. Rather, you bring in an old uh, editor, teach him a new trick is very difficult. So, wildlife, you need to be passionate about wildlife. Know a little bit. Old, about wildlife, it is also important. One of the guys has really become now, he is probably the best in India, one of the boys. Our girl is chick good guy, he has aptitude for editing. So, he has that aptitude for editing, but he wants to become a cameraman. Um, he is good in camera, very good in camera, but uh, he has fantastic skills in editing. Editing skills, Andrea, you think it is a tool, it is just a tool. Uh, as an youngster, you are, you are, you are brought, up with a, brought up with computers. So, you do not know what is computer, but you, you can operate it any time and you can learn a, anything in one or two days. So, technical part of it you do not need to worry, like you will pick it up within maybe two days and you will learn all the shortcuts in maybe four days and you will get that speed in one month. That you will achieve, that you can pick up from any of the editors here, but 
editing skills are entirely different. That is again lacking in India, not, not many. But fiction editors are very good, fiction editors are there. Documentary editors are very, very rare, but there is no demand also. While I'm editing, forget it. There's no one who have uh, better. But my boy, one of the boy, is fantastic. Is unbelievably good. That, that is an aptitude I see in different boys. Like some are very attached to camera, some are attached to editing, some are good with uh, writing, and some are just passionate about, passionate about reading. So they just have to identify themselves and choose different fields. You can't push yourself into another field where you don't fit. So documentary, you can even start with your phone and take a subject which suits the phone and try and edit it at home with your laptop or any of these uh, cheaper softwares. So just pull it across, show it to any of the teachers, whatever. You have friends, I, I suppose you can make friends here and can just show it to them, share with them, see how it works. And then if you're happy, if you're uh, confident of what it is, then you can show it to me. <laughs> so the, at me, you can show it to anybody. But uh, then you, you go further. Better learn, learn it on the job. And then when it comes to real technicality where you are failing, you can tell you. Then you can shift to other cameras. Then a lot of other uh, hassles will come in. So that you can overcome over time. It's also something to do with aptitude. You, you might not like camera work at all. You might just want to tell a story. You want to be a writer. You want to be a director. The definitely different aptitude among uh, sir. Sir, how you say it? How you want to say it? So, he was asking me what he can do about what? So, I just take, took up uh, the example of Rishubhavati and how you can tell the story. In that. So, you don't need to preach. People don't want to, don't listen to you when you preach. Even when you are taking the class, half of the class will be sleeping. But when you say it differently, like the same through the documentary, if you create love for something which was such a beautiful thing just a few years back and now like this, very subtle way if you can tell the story, that will do a better job than actually directly telling them, see, we have degraded our environment, we have what we have caught, and what is nonsense, and this is uh, smelly, bad. That is actually doesn't work. You need to, when, when you are addressing a bigger audience, when you, when you want to address bigger audience, it is, if it is for the shelf, you can do it like that, but if it is for the bigger audience, preaching never works. So we never use uh, the conservation preaching. That's why I told you one of the first films we did on wild dogs, it, the, our only aim was to create love for the animal. Because even the managers were, managers never liked uh, wild dogs. <coughs> it's just, so when we are cutting, when you are shooting, when you are uh, telling the story, we will be very careful about what we want to say in certain matter. Not negative, it will be positive. Like, like the wild dog, when they kill a uh, cheetah, it will chase them for, they will chase a cheetah stag, a beautiful stag for around one and a quarter kilometer. And then when it is standing, it is ripped apart. And when, when it is running, their uh, see, already lot of minds are blocking off towards wild dog. We do not show that. We will have it on the camera, but we will very carefully edit it in such a way. Because death is a death. Even if tiger kills, it is a death. If leopard kills, it is a death. It will all take around 10 minutes. And even these fellows will kill within 10 minutes, but they will bleed to death. But whereas they will be strangled to death, which will not be seeing the struggle. Here you will see the struggle, that is all. For that maturity, you do not expect from the audience. So we avoid showing certain things. So again, we do not preach. We create animal, we create love for certain things. So then you tell them that, you know, this is a part of ecosystem. So this ecosystem, the whole ecosystem should be protected that they will understand, they will think on their own, it is not about. So, or when you do something like Namma Sangha, again you do not preach. You think about it for a long time, you are there for very many, many years, so you know, take one small problem and try to solve it within your life. So, these are better, what we think is better, 
than preaching or making documentary to tell people that this is bad, this is good. Nobody will watch you. People have to watch first. If you want to convey whatever message you want to say or the whatever story you want to say, first people have to watch. If people are not watching, and whom are you telling the story? So, the film cell is one day in my day. I said, 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 I when you are addressing the public, how would the simplest form of the simplest digest mark simplest way, you have to find another way of saying the same thing. <laughs> Any more question? Sir, yeah, yes. Only two questions. Okay. Sir, the document is similar to the short form of the shooting. Okay, documentary film Bangalore University administration block, Vishwabharati, Raspe, parking place. If you list first put commentary like documentary film. I can hear it first. In the documentary film, this is the body of the body. This is the structure of the body. This is the body of the body. This is the flesh and blood. This is the body of the body. It's very dry. This is the life of the body. This is one subject to the proper understanding. Proper understanding is the body of the body. This is the body of the body. This is the body of the body. Concrete construction is the tar road, but if you are careful, definitely you will find a story, very interesting story. Okay, composition is not the same, but in the short film, what is the difference between the short film? The difference is not the same, but the difference is the same. Simple, you are going to show up with the short film. Short film is not the same, but you have to concentrate on the short film, you have to light the light. निम्गे इल्ले रुष्टबाद तीन दे मेन आ गिरते, but human interest वंद निव ऐड मर्ड दले स्ट्रेट अग रुष्टबाद तीते के रूप बदलो वंद वंद उड़गा वंद उड़गी माता टक कुतिर दो इकड़े शटलार तर दो इन्हें न माता रा एक्टिविटी जो दिखतो सुधरे, it will make more sense. इल्ले उड़गा उड़गी माता रा इम्पोर्टेंट आकता रे इल्ले निम्गे � but short film को इधकुन नन कंपार इग हेंग के केल अदेंगा इतु अंदर इगा सेब चंदनो इधो कितले न चंदनो अंदंगा इतु then it is they are different entities short film मो निम के complete scripte बर्त बुड़ बो दो short to short to dialogue to dialogue बर्कन उत्तर so केलो रो बरे dialogue oriented short film मर केलो visual oriented documentary हंगेर दिला you have to do a lot of research Go with a half script, Sumaraganin and Yao Lainal Martininta, and go with an open mind, find it out and make it interesting. End of the day, open mind you will know you will have to judge on the way that what you are going to what you are going to convey. Adra Mulka. Adna Hengan and Satlage Bere Rupdal Hirtininta. Neeruaga preach madavikin. So those are the different, but these are different entities. They are treated completely differently. 